This is the story of where we have been, where we are now, and a path forward. We can be part of the solution, determining how we will revitalize our living, thriving planet Earth for the next generations. We make it happen through education, awareness, and action. Restoring balance to our planet is a complex, multifaceted goal that requires collective efforts through organic, biodynamic, and regenerative farming practices. So we will restart floatingboats.org with a six-year project exploring biodynamic farming and regenerative agriculture with viticulture and farms. We started filming for the opening season and the first feature film at the end of May, 2023. Follow along on floatingboats.org and crushgrapechronicles.com for a look behind the scenes to see what all the buzz is about and get all the details. This project is all about telling the stories of the people who are living and doing the work to revitalize the Earth's soils. They are reinvigorating our farming and providing us better food, better wine, and a better life. Farms with regenerative organic certification provide a living wage for farm workers and staff and foster a culture where people want to come to work. You are not farming regeneratively unless you're paying your people a living wage. Living wage is not a minimum wage. It is, it is what it takes to live in that community. $15 an hour minimum wage in California is, is higher than the rest of the country for the most part, right? But nobody's living on $15 an hour in Napa or Sonoma or Paso Robles. So what does that tell you? You, you invest in your people and they're gonna take ownership of the property. They're gonna work more efficiently. They're gonna work more carefully. They're gonna work faster. They're gonna work harder and they wanna do it. They wanna be here. They're gonna take ownership in the property. They, they wanna be the crew that gets called back to Talbot's Creek when Talbot's Creek needs work. Our first feature film will follow Troon Vineyard in Oregon's Applegate Valley. Planted in 1972, it was farmed conventionally until the new owners purchased it in 2016. So you're, you're in Applegate Valley now. So we're like the transitional point between that California climate and the Willamette Valley. And so it's a, I think that's an interesting place to make wine in transitional zones because you have really unusual weather patterns and things like that. We have a hundred acres here, so 50 acres in vines. The rest are in apple trees and hay and livestock. And so, but we're redeveloping everything because there was some a lot of disease in the, in, the, in the vines. So we replanted everything, so I'm two thirds of the way in right now. This is two years old right now. Well, the one you came in there is, was just planted about a month ago. Wow. So we're doing about 10 acres a year. So it's a big project. We will also follow Tablas Creek, an established vineyard in organic and biodynamic practices who is leading the way in regenerative viticulture. And we will travel with the Regenerative Organic Alliance and its farming program as they certify and train farms to help develop their three pillars. We will be searching out farmers and vintners from many different regions. We have had a long career in entertainment and theater, and of course with Crush Gripe Chronicles. Telling stories is what we do. It's time to add a new chapter, to start paying it forward and leave something positive and actionable for future generations. We start by sharing the inspiring stories of the people who are leading the way. Jason Haas of Tablas Creek explains why they feel regenerative organic certification is the way forward. Once they explained it to us, it just made so much sense. It basically takes the soil health pieces of biodynamics and separates it from the more mystical pieces and then adds to it like a direct focus on the use of resources like non-renewable energy and groundwater, reducing your, your dependence on these shared resources. Um, and finally adds pillars on animal welfare and on farm worker fairness that we have not seen in any other certification. So for us, it's, it's sort of the gold standard of what great farming can be uh, for the land, for the people, for the working animals, for the community and for the broader environment. Um, and points the way that farming can be a part of the solution to big picture challenges like resource scarcity and climate change, as opposed to not just not contributing to the problem.
This documentary project, Revitalize the Planet Through Agriculture, is fluid, just like our living Earth. We have an outline of a plan for each year and season, with a projected arc and jumps down other rabbit holes. This will be a multimedia, multi-partner project, an extensive documentary-style campaign with many facets. It will include specialty shorts and a trilogy of feature films presented at film festivals. The goal is to saturate the airwaves with education on these farming methods. We want to inspire new generations of eco-farmers with a sense of pride and purpose. This project looks to bring together a variety of voices, winemakers, farmers, writers, and advocates, all working toward the same goals. The organisms on a farm all follow their own path, but they work together to create a healthy ecosystem. We want to nurture our own global ecosystem, voices charting their own course, each of those floating boats rising together with the tide. Some of the paths we will follow include delving into the fascinating past, exploring farming methods, and taking a comprehensive look at biodynamics, its history and practices. Biodynamic agriculture is a system of farming principles and practices that views the farm or ranch as a self-sufficient integrated whole, a living organism. Combining scientific knowledge with practical application and experience provides a systematic approach to understanding the world through observation, experimentation, and analysis. Living organisms within an ecosystem include plants, animals, microorganisms, and fungi. These organisms interact with each other in various ways. Ecosystems can range from small-scale habitats, such as ponds or forests, to larger-scale systems, like coral reefs or grassland. Agroforestry, which involves integrating trees and crops, is often incorporated to provide additional ecological benefits and diversify farm production. Efficient water management, such as water harvesting, drip irrigation, and using cover crops to reduce evaporation, help conserve water resources and promote water efficiency. Animals are raised in a manner that promotes their welfare, such as providing access to pasture and natural behaviors. Livestock integration contributes to nutrient cycling, soil fertility, and pest control through practices like rotational grazing. Carbon sequestration emphasizes the sequestration of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere into the soil. This contributes to mitigating climate change by reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Regenerative organic farming is gaining attention and recognition for its resilient food system that benefits both people and the planet. This is how we move forward, by looking at the past, back to nature, no chemicals, adapting to the environment. This is a global issue, and we as consumers can and must inspire businesses to promote regenerative development, knowledge sharing, and the exchange of best practices. Fostering collaboration among organizations, businesses, and individuals at a local, national, and international level is essential. If this seems like a lot, it is. But we feel that a space is needed to educate younger generations that want to make a difference. There seems to be a rising tide and movement behind this. We want to make it successful. This year, 2023, we are working out all the plans and funding so we can dive all in in 2024. We will need some help spreading the word and promoting these ideas, and we're continuing to find additional partners. If you would like to be a part of this project or would like to learn more, contact us at michael at 42aspens.com. In years two through six, we will be expanding into global farms and vintners. We have so much more planned. We invite you to visit floatingboats.org, crushgrapechronicles.com, and 42aspens.com. 
All our videos will be hosted on our YouTube channel, Crushed Grape Chronicles Video. Subscribe and watch as new videos are released with behind the scenes shorts. Watch our video, Biodynamics into Regeneration, for an introduction and to see whom we have talked to about this topic over the last several years. Join us and help make the change.